Good morning. We are in Dumbo right now. We are touring around Sarah's parents, Brad and Trisha, and we decided to come over here to Dumbo, show them the waterfront and the, you know, this kind of cute neighborhood. But I just got an alert on my phone that said rain is supposed to start in 15 minutes. <laughs> and our plan was to just come over here, sit around and kind of just enjoy the day. Yeah. But the wind is blowing, it's really cold, and it's about to rain. So we're going to just uh, do a quick pass through. <laughs> Starting our tour by Grimaldi's, which apparently is supposed to be amazing New York pizza. We've never had it. The line has always been crazy long around lunchtime and dinner time, so we've always just kind of waved at the line as we walk by. This restaurant is preparing their uh, outdoor seating. I think we should tell them it's about to rain. Yeah, they probably know. The sun is peeking through, but it's also starting to drizzle. Very confusing. But we're walking up to Jane's carousel now. You have some people in front of Jane's carousel. There's some people doing a uh, music video right there, kind of low budget while inside here they're doing a legit uh, video shoot with uh, actual crew and gear and everything else. There's always filming going on in New York City, everywhere you go. We've been up here a few times, but this building, I think it's called like Empire Estates. Uh, if you go in and go up the stairs or the elevator, you can go all the way to the roof and get a really great view of the whole Dumbo area. Plus it, it has really good coffee and, and like hangout area yeah. in there too, so yeah. it's nice. I think it's a good hidden gym. I like, agree. I, I feel like most people don't know that it's up here. It took us a while to figure it out. Yeah. It's just called Empire Stores. Also have an art gallery in here. I love that art. That's a pretty solid souvenir right there. Instead of some trinket from a Chinatown shop, get an actual New York artist uh, drawing. It's still raining, but the sun is peeking through a little bit, so we're gonna continue our Dumbo tour. Taking a detour onto Washington Street. The Dumbo photo is on Washington Street. Yes, there is a gaggle of people in front of us, <laughs> all taking photos. But it's a great photo, so. It's making me do this and I'm not happy about it. So 
so it never really actually really rained it just sprinkled so we were able to spend more time in Dumbo than we were anticipating yeah but we didn't really get to do what we wanted which is just kind of like chill out by the water and talk it's but it's cold. so <laughs> cold yes but now we're gonna head back over to Manhattan and we're gonna get bagels because Sarah's parents have never had a New York bagel my mom loves bagels yes so we have to give them the uh, goodness of a New York water bagel <laughs> Just ate a black seed. Mm -hmm. What'd you guys think of New York bagels? Yummy. Best I've ever had. Not a big bagel fan, but that was a very good bagel. The rain has stopped, so now we're out and about going to uh, REI to do a little bit of shopping for Sarah's dad. He's heading out of country, and so he needs to get a backpack. But we're heading over to REI. But what is interesting about REI in Soho is that they are in the Puck building and the Puck building is a really great looking building one. Um, it has a lot of like interesting architecture, but it was originally built like in 18, I don't know, 90 or something like that. <laughs> and um, it was originally built as a like printing facility for a lithograph company. And it housed the um, Puck magazine, which is where it gets its name because it's called the Puck building. Um, but there are some remnants of all of that the printing facility like flywheels and all this stuff in the basement which you can still go see so we're gonna check that out while we're uh, shopping book or bag that the statue has says what fools these mortals so directly behind the puck building which is right here is the building that David Bowie lived in if you saw that video which is linked right up here also in the alley there used to be the oldest manhole cover in New York City but just like one month ago they removed it and they put a new one in but just a month ago it was a really small one and it was the oldest manhole cover in New York City just a random thing that you could see but not no more So on the first basement floor, there are these flywheels by the register, and they are remnants of the steam engines that they use to power the printing presses. Which is crazy. And each one of these flywheels weighs nine tons. They're huge. Which is why REI didn't take them out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously history, but I mean, practically nine tons getting that thing out of here. <laughs> Our shopping mission is complete. Found a backpack. Yep. And now we're gonna head to dinner, and we're gonna take Sarah's uh, parents over to Champs and uh, see what these meditarians think of our uh, wacky foods. <laughs> <laughs> Are we excited? Yes. <laughs> so I got the Reuben. Sarah got the French toast slam with bacon, sausage, eggs. Half rounds of French toast. Trisha got the tater tachos, and Brad got the Nashville hot chicken. And we're fixing to find out if it's any. It's good. We're good, right? It is good. Trisha's trying the chicken. No weird texture or anything. The best thing about somebody at the table getting tater tachos is nobody can ever finish them. So everybody else gets to pick on them after they're done. Champs always does this right. Always. And 
another win for champs with our uh, family, friends. Still have not brought anybody there who didn't like it. Nope. So. Not one person. A++, plus plus, five stars. Yes. All right, well, that's going to be the end of our adventures today. Also, <laughs> the Grances are leaving in the morning, so this will be the last time you'll see them. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not. We make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on this channel. We also do a podcast called Deeply Curious, which you can check out by going to podcast.codyjensen.com or subscribe to the Deeply Curious Podcast YouTube channel, which is uh, linked in the description, also a card on the screen. And also, thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers in real time. It happened yesterday, but this video is uh, <laughs> going to be a few uh, days after that. So, But thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. Really awesome. Yeah. Uh, appreciate your faces and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.